15 countries where you won't find a wife because there aren't enough women. The ratio between men and women has been up and down since the beginning of life itself. With women usually coming out on top due to staying alive that little bit longer, while men have often lagged behind due to warfare and higher mortality rates. However, there are also a number of other creepy and terrifying issues that rock the gender imbalance between the two sexes. One example is violence against women, which has most definitely caused an imbalance around the world. Another example is deliberate gender control, a sickening practice that involves sex-selective infanticide, particularly occurring in China and India. Plus, with war comes large-scale migration, which has also been another factor with regards to gender imbalance and young people being unable to reproduce. With men now seemingly catching up to their female counterparts, it looks like we will soon be in a world overpopulated by men with women on the back burner for the very first time. So what are the consequences of these events? Although high ratios of men make it easier for women to marry, it ultimately makes it harder for men. For example, in a number of places across the globe, there are a number of men who will most likely remain single for the rest of their lives. So, to dig a little deeper, here are 15 countries where you won't find a wife because there aren't enough women. 1. India Famous for a number of things, India also has one of the biggest populations in the world. Not exactly even when it comes to the gender balance. Indian officials recently revealed in a population census that the ratio between men and women was startlingly different. That's right, documenting 940 females to 1,000 men. The ratio has been in favor of men for a number of decades. But why? Labeled India's man problem the results are said to be a practice of sex selection which obviously finds favor in baby boys. Sadly this has been attributed to the ongoing problem of violence against women that is currently taking hold of the country with many blaming the surplus of men and the lack of women to marry. Overall, India has a whopping 37 million more men than women, a statistic that is likely to grow over the next 10 years. 2. Nigeria Situated in West Africa bordering Chad and Cameroon. Nigeria has been at the center stage of numerous kingdoms and tribal states over the last few centuries. Not the best place in the world with regards to equality, forced marriages are extremely common along with child marriage, polygamy, and female genital mutilation. With these aspects causing a number of women to flee the country, it has resulted in a lack of Nigerian females when compared to their male counterparts. In fact, for every 100 women in Nigeria, you can find 100 to men, with the ratio said to increase even more as time goes on. Affecting future marriage and fertility patterns, Nigerian officials have spoken out with concerns over the young adult males unable to find partners. 3. Philippines Named after King Philip II of Spain in the 16th century, the Philippines has since undergone a humongous amount of change. Occupied by a number of countries over the last few centuries, the Philippines is an extremely interesting country both culturally and geographically. Prone to the of natural disaster or two, the country is smack bang in the middle of the notorious typhoon belt which in turn causes a number of weather disasters. Demographically there are more men than women, with 100 to Filipinos to every 100 Filipinas. Plus, as seen in other countries, more women are beginning to work abroad citing better job opportunities as the main reason why. So, with more men and heavy lack of women, marriage is seemingly out of the question for the heterosexual community of the Philippines with statistics also proving that marriage has fallen in the last few years. For Afghanistan Much in the same way as other Middle Eastern countries, Afghanistan's attitude towards women is outdated. But this wasn't always the case. Before war and terror ravished the country, Afghanistan was seemingly a place of peace. Not strictly limited to the home, women were able to work and be educated. However, things changed dramatically when the Taliban blasted their way in causing the civil war in the process. Sadly, 
due to a number of further wars, the USA involvement, and numerous other aspects, a whopping 90,000 deaths have been recorded over the last few decades. These shocking and awful events caused a number of Afghan natives to flee with many women and their children finding new homes elsewhere. With the majority of men left behind to fight, the gender balance in Afghanistan is a shell of its former self. 5. Egypt As the most populous country in the Arab world, Egypt is also one of the most populous countries on the African continent. As well as having a large population, Egypt is also one of the most youthful countries in the entire world with an estimated 75% of Egyptians under the age of 25. However, with men slowly beginning to outnumber women, the reasons are pointing towards the way in which women are treated. That's right, traditional gender roles in Egypt are extremely prevalent and defined with women often tied to domestic value rather than work or education. Plus, with sexual violence towards women a common occurrence, it was recently revealed that 99.3% of women have experienced sexual harassment at some points in their lives. So, with sexual violence and gender inequality a common theme, it is no surprise to see women leaving the country whenever they get the opportunity. 6. Qatar In 1980, Qatar's population was minuscule, counting only 0.2 million inhabitants. One of the smallest populations of the entire world, Qatar suddenly decided to do something about it by drastically changing the way in which it was run. Changing dramatically over the next few years, Qatar's population boomed enormously almost tripling in size. With immigration said to be the main cause, it was recently revealed that immigrants take up a whopping 94% of the Qatar workforce. Mostly men, the expats are skilled workers who have come from all over the world to find work. However, while they are more than happy to give out visas to men, the Qatar government are strangely reluctant to do the same with women, with visas only usually going to females from privileged countries such as Canada and the UK. 7. The USA OK, maybe not the country as a whole, but there are a number of states and cities in the USA that have a surprising ratio of men over women. Take Las Vegas for example. The entertainment capital of the world is said to have 103 men for every 100 women above the age of 18, proving popular with bachelorette parties. Another city on the west coast which offers exceptional dating opportunities for single ladies is San Francisco. Known for its liberal attitude and political life, San Francisco is also famed for its many finance and banking sectors which seemingly attracts more men than women. Finally. Unsurprisingly Dallas, Texas also has a high number of men when compared to women, with 51.4% of the population male. 8. Iran Iran is an ever-changing country, adopting a more westernized outlook on life as time goes on. With men outnumbering women for the first time in the country's history, the reason why has stirred great interest from the rest of the world. With women garnering more rights each year, the rules and regulations with regards to women have somewhat relaxed. Now, with more than 3 million Iranian women unmarried, the expectations of marriage and motherhood have been replaced with education and careers. Women are choosing to better themselves through learning and hard work, moving aside marriage and children for later in life. Therefore, with this newfound freedom many women have begun to travel, leading to a reduction of the female population and the lack of women to marry.